From heaven you came running There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory To a cradle in the dust Praise the so much for joining us uh, for a session of uh, prayer and devotion this morning. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity that you've given us yet again, O oh God, to meet together and pray. We pray that you may edify us by your word, encourage us and strengthen us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So thank you again for joining us. And uh, these two weeks, we have been looking at the significance of the cross. And uh, today we are looking at the cross signifies healing. The cross signifies healing. And we're looking at Isaiah chapter 53 from verse 5 to 6. It says, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us 
all. You know what a blessed thing to know that all the suffering that Christ went through was for us. He, you know, Jesus went through so much emotional and physical suffering. And the word of God is saying that he was pierced for our transgressions and he was crushed for our iniquities. You know, the word of God also says that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And it is also a beautiful thing to know that by his wounds, we are healed. That we can look to, to Jesus for healing of our emotional pain. We can look to Jesus for healing of our physical pain. Because Jesus went through it all. He went through emotional pain. He was betrayed, he was denied, he was mocked, he was scorned by the very people that he was carrying that cross for. You can imagine all that pain uh, for, for one person to, to go through, you know. Um, so even when we are going through our emotional pain, you know, of all kinds, we know that we can look to Jesus for healing. We can look to Jesus for restoration. We can look to Jesus to restore us and to lift us up in our moments of emotional pain. Even on uh, that journey to the cross, Jesus went through so much physical pain. Let's just begin with the crown of thorns, with all the whips that he got, you know, and being nailed on that cross, you can imagine how much physical pain he went through. And the word of God says that he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement. You know, chastisement means punishment. Upon him was the punishment that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. With his wounds, we are healed. By his stripes, we are healed. You know what a blessed thing to know that we can trust in God and, and, and say that, Lord, I'm going through physical pain. I'm going through emotional pain. And I know, Jesus, that you went through the same thing. But Lord, as I look to you, I believe that I am able to receive healing for the pain that I'm going through. And it is an invitation for us who are watching today, for us to go before God and believe in God. It's just a matter of belief and having faith in Christ. You know, when Jesus went about healing people on the streets, he told them, just believe in me. The, in, in the same way this morning, let us put our faith in God. Let us anchor our faith and our hope in God, knowing that He is able, that He is able to heal us of our physical pain. He is able to heal us of our emotional pain. And we're also reminded in Numbers chapter 21, verse 8, as the Lord said to Moses, make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is beaten can look at it and leave. This was in the desert with the Israelites. You know, so Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then when anyone was beaten by a snake, he looked at the bronze snake and he lived. And in the New Testament, in John chapter 3, verse 14 to 15, Jesus was having a conversation with Nicodemus and he told them, and he told Nicodemus, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Look at that. Even as the Israelites, Israelites looked at the snake that Moses lifted up in the desert, in the same way that Jesus was lifted up on the cross so that we can look at him and we receive healing. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence this morning in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for sending your Son to die on the cross for us. What a great sacrifice. What a great thing that he did, O oh God. It is only by this sacrifice that we are able to say, God, that by his stripes we are healed. It is only by this sacrifice that we are able to tap into wholeness. We are able to tap into eternal life. We are able to tap into healing of our emotional and physical wounds, O oh God. And this morning, my Father, I pray that we may be lifted up in faith, O oh God, that we may remember that we only need to believe those of us who are going through emotional pain. God, that you grant us the grace to 
forgive and let go, knowing that Jesus, you went through all this pain and you still say it on the cross, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Father, Lord, I pray that you may give us the same grace. Those of us who are going through betrayal, those who are going through denial, those who are going through pain of loss, those who are going through the pain of of heart, but in relationships, oh God. Father, Lord, I pray, God, that you may grant us the grace to forgive and let go, oh God, because that is how we find healing, and that is how you forgive us as well, oh God, because you say, oh God, you forgive us even as we forgive those who trespass against us. And Father, Lord, this morning, King of glory, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you may strengthen us, my God. Strengthen us, my God. We are looking to you, O oh God, for healing, O oh Lord. Heal us, O oh God. Heal us of emotional wounds. Heal us, King of glory. Thank you, Jesus, that God, you were crushed for our iniquities. Thank you that you are us for our transgressions. Thank you, Lord, that, that the chastisement that brought us peace was upon you. And by your stripes, we are healed. By your stripes, we are healed. Lord, that even the physical pain that we go through, some of us are in hospital beds. Some of us are, are, um, are taking medication, oh God. Some of us who are not feeling well this morning, oh God. Even our family members that we know that are not well, my God. And our friends and our relatives, my God. Father, we commit them to you, oh Lord. We pray that you may heal them, my Father. Lord, we are speaking healing of physical wounds, oh God, physical pain. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the almighty physician. And yes, you are willing to heal us for the glory and honor of your name. I speak your healing. I ask, oh God, that your healing will rain down upon us, oh God, even right now as we pray together this moment. Oh God, we are also trusting you for healing of our loved ones, my Father. Oh, that your healing healing may come down, O oh God, and restore our strength, O oh God. And Father, Lord, I pray that you may teach us to believe. You said, Jesus, as you healed, O oh God, that we only need to believe in you. I pray, God, that we will believe in you, Jesus. We'll believe in your word, O oh God. We'll believe in you as you say that by your stripes we are healed, O oh God. We'll believe, O oh God, that indeed we are healed in your name, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we honor you this morning in Jesus' name mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So thank you so much for joining us. I pray that you have a blessed day ahead. Amen. Praise the Father. Praise the Son. Praise the Spirit. Three to the other side knowing this was our salvation Jesus for us sake you die praise the Father praise the Son praise the Spirit three Storm was moved for good, for the Lamb had conquered death, and the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe, for the souls of all who'd come.
to the Father are restored And the church of Christ was born Then the Spirit lit the flame Now this gospel truth of all Shall not kneel and shall not faint By His blood and in His name In His freedom I am free For the love of Jesus Christ Who had resurrected me